Hey guys, what's up? So today I am going to uh, traumatize myself and you guys with a great fan fiction. Um, this is a great uh, bedtime story and it will get you to sleep, but um, unfortunately you will have nightmares. So let's get started. Taking off my pants. Connie fanfic. So we're going to go to chapter 9 where it gets, uh, gets a bit steamy. Um, it's a smut warning. Uh, I'm not really. I learned what smut meant today on my UNL. I guess it means like inappropriate and dirty or sexual. All right, here we go. Johnny's POV. After the incident with Ryan, I felt horrible. Well, we don't know what the incident is, but uh, whatever it is, Johnny felt horrible. But good came out of it. Kyle David f***ing Hall kissed me. I almost died inside. My mind keeps flashing back to that very event when butterflies filled my stomach and I almost exploded. Nothing could have made this night better. Or could it? Oh, it's about to get steamy! After I was released from Kyle's comforting hug, I do give pretty nice hugs, after a while, he offered to drive me to my hotel room. I don't drive. <laughs> and hang out if I was down with it. Without thinking about it, I replied with an over-exaggerating yes. His shocking response sent chill down my spine because he was so damn cute. With a little heart. He led me to his car while holding my hand. Did he have the same feeling as me? So many thoughts raced through my mind, but I couldn't take my mind off that kiss. I, I will never forget it. Once at his car, I opened the passenger door and climbed in. The car ride to my hotel was short, yet amazing. I don't care what we talked about because his voice always gives me butterflies. I just love it. And him. Oops. Okay? Alright? I just never wanted him to leave. After a few minutes, I explained that there was only a king bed and I'll sleep on the floor. He cutely replied with, Nah, dog. We can share the same bed. That's... We say dog. Oh, God. I made my way to the bed and sat next to him. I then stared at Kyle. Like that? <laughs> who was surprisingly staring at me. Our eyes met, and so did our lips, as we both leaned in for a kiss. All the butterflies filled my stomach again. I love when this happens. Okay? Kyle's POV. So this is my side, I guess. What am I saying, I guess? I was there, of course. I don't know what Johnny is staring at, but he's cute while he's doing it. When he offered me to stay, I couldn't say no. I was hoping he would offer all along. Thankfully he did. I never wanted to leave his side. I wonder if he feels the same about me. He does. <laughs> I couldn't help but stare at Johnny. I bit my bottom lip and made a small fake cough. <coughs> Johnny turned his head and stared right into my eyes. When our eyes met, I knew I had to do something. I leaned in to kiss him. He returned the favor. His lips tasted so good. Oh wow, okay. Still kissing our tongue- oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Still kissing our tongues rubbed against each other. I never liked the thought of smooching saliva, but it was okay with Johnny. <laughs> no! I enjoyed this passionate kiss that took place for minutes. Oh, oh, oh boy. As our tongues kept gliding- oh, why that word? Gliding against each other, I gently tugged at his bottom lip <laughs> and cuffed his face with my hand. I now knew that he felt the same feeling for me as I did for him. <laughs> Taking a break from our kiss, I leaned in for another. This one, less passionate, lasted for about 10 seconds. It was still amazing though, I fell in love with Johnny every single kiss. I could help but come out and say it. Johnny, I am in love with you. <laughs> he blushed. Kyle, I am and have been in love with you. I love you, Kyle. <laughs> I began to blush as well. I turned to him knowing what I was going to say next. I opened my mouth and said it. 
Okay, good. I didn't want me opening my mouth for anything else. <laughs> and said it. Will you go out with me? <laughs> Johnny's cheeks got redder than ever. Yes. Yes, Kyle. I will go out with you. <laughs> I pulled him in to another kiss. And then into a tight hug. I will love this guy forever. <laughs> oh, God. Johnny's POV. My cheeks blushed as I said yes to Kyle's question. I am in love with the idea that Kyle and I will be dating. I have waited for this moment forever, but I never knew it would actually happen. I'm in love with you, Kyle. And that's it. I'm so happy I can officially call Kyle my boyfriend. I can hug him when I need it most. I can talk to him about anything. I can kiss his soft lips at any given moment. <laughs> oh god. This is perfect. He laid down on the bed. Oh god. Okay, here comes the bed scene. This is... This is, um... Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited for this part. He lay down on the bed, and I laid next to him. He put his arm over my shoulder and asked, Should we? I knew what he meant, and my cheeks were getting red. I know it. I nodded in agreement. Debating on who would dominate, we decided on him. We got out of bed and took off our clothes. I stared at Kyle, and he stared at me. We were now both blushing. He is perfect. We both returned to bed, fully nude. Our bodies touched inside him forcefully. A knock on the door was heard. And that's the end of chapter nine. Unfortunately, that's the end, am I right? Am I right? Yeah, no, like, the, okay, why? So if you guys wanna read the rest of that, you would have to go to Wattpad or, or Wattpad? And it's party in the hotel room. And <laughs> let me tell you, there was a party, but not one I would I would want to be invited to. <laughs> There's one comment on this chapter that says yes. <laughs> that was that was awkward, and I'm sorry you guys had to hear that. Anyways, off of this topic, I have my shirts out, and this is one of them. I like this one a lot. It's my penguin one got my name on it and I got my other one downstairs the Kai Force one with a piece of symbol on it you can get them at districtlines.com and just type in my name when you get there um and yeet I also have a hushed event coming next month I'm not sure what day but it is up on the app so you can go and, and get your entries before anyone else it's all free by the way comment down below what your favorite part of this Connie fanfiction is or if you wanted to add your own part of the Connie fanfic go ahead and add that at the bottom like like with the cliffhanger who knocked on the door? It says a knock was heard on the door. Comment below who you think it was. But yes, I love you guys so much. Sorry for this really weird and awkward video. But, um, <laughs> it's it's true. It's a, it's a true story. I, I wrote the story. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time.